All right, guys, you got the land crawler here. We're going to 40 acres, Clay County. Massive hardwoods all throughout the property. Beautiful Ray Creek running through it. Now, this is the road to get to the property, which is going through. This property is a nice square, quarter quarter section, sitting right in the middle of some large timber tracks. As you can see, this uh, we're going through a pine timber track here. I believe there's timber company on three sides and maybe a large private landowner on one side. But this is the road to get to the property. Uh, the very secluded track, great hunting track. Look at that turkey picture on there in the uh, photo gallery. This is just getting to the track. Okay, guys, here at the property gate, you can see the, the lines are well marked. It runs right up the hill. Those are big, big hardwoods there on the property. And then here's the main entrance gate into the property. Okay, guys, I've just crossed into the property. As you can see, we've got some, there's a beautiful little hardwood ridge there running into the property, and, uh, and Ray Creek's going to be down there. Beautiful, beautiful hardwoods in here. Lots of oak, natural pine regrowth, and then this little opening here, there's actually an old home site. It used to be on the property right in here. Um, this is an old home site right here. This would be a great place for a little cabin or something here. And uh, let's just continue on down here to the creek. Again, big, big hardwoods on the property. A lot of timber value. Now, the I've got some numbers on there right now that those are an estimate from a previous owner. But uh, there's definitely some timber value in here. Not that I would want to come cut this beautiful hardwoods. But, uh, you know, when you're looking at a property, you want to add the dirt value, what we call the dirt value, plus the timber value. So when you've got some good old growth timber on it, good old growth hardwoods, that adds a lot of value to the property. There's some beautiful, there's a beautiful hardwood ridge right there. I mean, tons and tons of acorns for the deer. I've got a buddy that hunted this a long, long time ago, and he said he saw the biggest deer of his life. He saw his rear end going over that hill right there, and he was he could see the spread of the antlers. He was such a big deer, but that's a beautiful hardwood ridge up there. Uh, you can tell that uh, was all kind of acorns and mass crop in there. It's great, in, nice little internal road here running right into the property. Down in there's the creek bottom. We're gonna get some views of the creek in just a minute. But uh, this has got a nice square shape to it, and uh, beautifully wooded track. You could hang multiple deer stands in here and have plenty of room for multiple people to hunt. So that's on one road. Now we've got another road on the other side. Guys, now also in addition, this is not Ray Creek. This is a little feeder creek, feeder branch, spring branch running into Ray Creek. But... Uh, this is gorgeous here. Now this is uh, this this owner has built a very nice footbridge here. This is fantastic. This is big time heavy duty footbridge across this little spring branch. It's a beautiful spring branch. So you've got the uh, spring branches running into Ray Creek on the property. This is a huge, just huge, huge hardwoods all in here. I'm sure it's picking up on the video, but these are just. This is just some old, good old, big time woods. You know, it's hard to find woods anymore. <laughs> Real woods. It's all been cut and planted and that. But this is just some good old time natural woods. Guys, here's that little clearing. We think this is an old home site. And, uh, boy, I'd have that as a food plot. And I'd have a tree stand right up there in that big old oak tree. Uh, that may be a hickory over there. I can't, can't hardly see it. But anyway, big old mass crop and then I'd have this planted this would be a beautiful bow hunting little bow hunting plot right here I wanted to walk out I'm gonna walk you out on this little uh, shoulder here it's got some beautiful views out here uh, and some big hardwood yeah sir it's a beautiful little shoulder here I'm just right off that old home site this little shoulder and uh, just look at all these these big old woods here there's so many places you could put a boy there's an old pine there I don't know if that's a loblolly or a um, Oh gosh, long leaf, 
but uh, beautiful old pine tree there mixed in. Mainly hardwoods though. I'm going to be quiet for a second. Even up on this shoulder you can hear Ray Creek. All right, now we're going to, next we're going to go right down to the creek. Okay, guys, we're on another road uh, just uh, down the hill, really, from that uh, uh, home site. Beautiful, again, huge, just absolutely massive old pine trees mixed in with these hardwoods. And uh, we've cut into the property. We're, now we're headed down to Ray Creek. All right, and we're going to cut right down here. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Big hardwoods. Heading on down to the creek here. All right, here we go, Ray Creek. Let me get out and get a little bit better view. Guys, I'm standing right now in the middle of Ray Creek. This is what runs right through the property. There's another road that goes up that way and goes on that side of the creek. We're going to go down that next. But uh, this is beautiful Ray Creek that runs right through the property. There's some old uh, diggings there. I don't know. This, this area, if you'll Google it, you'll see that uh, this area has some gold history. Uh, could be an old dam site. Could be an old mill site or something. But uh, there's something that has gone on historically there. And, of course, there was an old home site right up the hill there. But this is Ray Creek. Let's go on the other side of it and check it out. Okay, guys, I've just crossed Ray Creek. Now we're looking down from the other uh, side of the creek. Now, on your map, I'm on the southeast side of the creek. And, uh, again, this boy, this is as remote and secluded uh, and big woods as you, as you could ask for. Uh, <clears throat> that turkey picture, the guy told me he killed that turkey right down this road right here. Uh, first day of turkey season. So, uh, again, just walking down the road beside the creek. Big, big hardwoods. Got a nice big hardwood ridge here. And we'll take a little jaunt down this road. Guys, it doesn't get much prettier than this. You've got a beautiful little lane coming through here. You've got a, just some beautiful big hardwoods on that ridge. And then look at this creek. Here's Ray Creek. Uh, beautiful. And we're in the summer and it's running great couple little feeder springs branches but this is the big creek right here absolutely gorgeous here this road is just just picturesque I'd, idyllic <laughs> uh, absolutely gorgeous I'm going to give you a feel for this look at this this creek is absolutely gorgeous You saw the uh, turkey picture. Clay County is one of only six counties that have uh, fall and spring turkey seasons. There's so many turkeys over here. Uh, like I said, I've got a buddy that said he saw the biggest deer. That is just gorgeous. That looks like a North Georgia trout stream. That is absolutely gorgeous right there. Ray Creek. I'm going to be quiet a second. Listen to this. Beautiful country, guys. Uh, if you want a secluded hunting track with significant timber value. I'd hate to see, I'd hate to cut these trees. It's so beautiful in here, but but you have to add that, you have to consider that for total value. Uh, this is this is it. You need to you need to be set up and hunting this for this year. Uh, and so 40 acres, Ray Creek, nice square shape to the property. Big, big hardwoods throughout. The pictures, you know, are pretty much trees and creek. There's no open areas. It's just a wooded, wooded track. One little home site opening. Be a good food plot. You could certainly clean some of this up and plant these roads or and 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 open them up a little bit. But uh, beautiful, beautiful Ray Creek. Call the land crawler for a detailed tour. Put on your hiking boots and let's take a detailed look at this one, guys. If you want a hunting track for this fall, you really ought to take a look at this one.